So, of course, on a day where we have had absolutely no humor in the room, <laughs> I decided to speak about the six dimensions of humor according to Scott Adams. Anybody ever heard of Scott Adams? Uh -huh. yeah. Or Dilbert? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So he's not a very funny guy, I know, but he does occasionally succeed, and so he shared one time the six dimensions of humor, and I wanted to share them with you so that each of you can be funny, because you're not. <laughs> I needed to study this because I'm not funny either. I, you know, I am the oldest child. I was the only child until my parents had additional kids. <laughs> and I'm still the only child if you don't count them. <laughs> so the six dimensions of humor, there's six different pieces of it. And Scott Adams says that for anything to be funny, it can't be about things, it has to be about feelings, and it has to include at least two of these. The first is it has to be clever. So puns, riddles, something normal you pull out of logic or exaggerate so far and then go a little bit further, the more exaggeration, the funnier it is. The second is it has to be cute. That's why you hear stories about kids or about animals. I love to tell the story about the little girl who climbed the climbing dome and she got to the top and she sat down on it and she's the same height as my wife looks her in the eyes and she goes, phew, I had a hell of a time getting up here. <laughs> Why is that funny? Well, it took something that was cute and then it took something and, and, and the next one is bizarre. And, and that's humor in context or simply means two things you wouldn't normally find together. A kid saying, phew, I had a hell of a time getting here. Okay, and the fourth one is it has to be cruel. And that's slapstick, dark humor, something mean, something bad happening. And we all know how that can be funny. That's what the uh, Three Stooges always was about. <laughs> Slap, you know, and it was just... So the fifth one is naughty. And I probably don't have to go there at all. You know what I'm talking about. And it could be language, references <laughs> to, whatever. And the sixth point is it has to be recognizable. And we all get that because Roman, of course, said they always say it's better to give than to receive, right? So right away, we all recognize that. I wish I knew who they were, because I want to be on the receiving side. I only know the people who want to get, want to get, so. Okay, so when you're doing these things, it has to be about feelings, not things, and it must include at least two of those. The point is optional. You don't care. There doesn't need to be a point to what your joke is, because the listener is gonna make their own point out of it. Scott Adams says, yeah, you know, I, I would make a point, and, and somebody would say, oh, I get that. That's about bison. And it, it had you know, nothing to do with bison, but they make their own, and it, that makes it funnier because they'll apply the funniest thing that they can to it. Scott says, my experience as a professional humorist is that if you're funny one time out of five, people will remember you as being funny all the time. So make sure you produce enough volume and enough different types of humor, so diverse that this can work for you. You know, I love to say that I gra graduated from college. I was the first one in my family to do that. And I crammed four years of college into 24 years. <laughs> and then Scott, I'm going to finish with this one. Scott Adams had a joke that he told me. This is one of those, okay, so here's the first thing. This is something we all know. The boss used to tell us that we, the staff, were the most important asset, right? Well, here's where the cruel part comes in, or the bizarre part, however you want to look at it. Well, the boss came by the other day and he said, well, I was wrong. <laughs> Money's our most important asset. <laughs> staff is actually ninth. <laughs> okay, so, you know, what, what have we got there? We've got, you know, being cruel and, you know, the boss telling the truth. Yeah, those things don't quite go together, do they? And so then, then in his cartoon, he says, well, I had to get one more. So he says, he had Wally ask, well, what's eighth? <laughs> <laughs> and so exaggeration, right? What can, what can you think of? What office supply? So he said he thought of paper clip, stapler. No, that didn't do it. So he went away, had some coffee, and then words came to him. Carbon paper. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Postman.